Now, at any given moment up here on the International Space Station, there are over 200 science experiments going on, both inside. Uh, every single rack that you see here has a payload or a science experiment going on right now, and then outside the station, looking out at the universe and then also looking back at Earth. So we're doing a ton to help inform how we do life on Earth and life out further in the universe. It's very exciting for me to be speaking live uh, with two astronauts who are on the International Space Station. First time I've done that. I know you both were part of uh, one of the few all-female spacewalks. What was that like? Yeah, so it was actually my first spacewalk. Uh, Anne's old had it spacewalking at this point, but um, you know, I think that uh, our spacewalk is was a huge success and a huge testament to teamwork and how many different people have to work on just this one event. We got some game plan changes in the middle of it, and we were able to problem solve and figure out how to leave the station in a better state. But you know, can't beat the view through the the visor. You know, when it's just you in a spacesuit and your buddy outside, um, it's pretty fantastic. Why is space exploration so important and what do you think it will look like in 5, 10, 20 years from now? Yeah, I think if this is a really exciting time in space exploration and we're really hitting an exponential growth and expansion right now. I don't know what the next five years hold. There are so many new companies, new countries, new partnerships and new programs coming into play. I mean, you ask why why we explore space, and I, I honestly think that that's a different answer for each of us. We as a society explore space because as societies, we always ask what's next, what's around the next corner, what type of society we would be if we didn't explore. And I don't think that's a society any of us would want to be in. So I think over the next five years, I'm, I'm really thrilled and very lucky to be part of this.